In this video we'll be learning about sigma notation, which is also known as sum notation. Now, the type of expression we'll typically come across will look something like this. We'll see this symbol, known as sigma, with something written beneath it, something written above it, and it will be followed by some function of n. Now, let's try and clarify what this means. To begin with, when we see this symbol, this should be thought of as a capital letter S. In fact, this symbol is the capital Greek letter sigma, and is the equivalent of our letter S. Now, we should think of this capital letter S, or sigma, as meaning sum. So, when we see this symbol, we should automatically think and realize that we are dealing with a sum. Now, back to our expression. What this is asking us to do is to calculate the value we would obtain if we replaced n inside this function of n by all the integers between the initial value which we write at the bottom and the final value which we write at the top. So for this particular case, the initial value is 1 and the final value is 3. So we'll be replacing n by the values 1, 2, and 3 and adding all of those values together. Here's what that would look like. This would equal to f of 1, that corresponds to the case where n equals to 1, the initial value, plus f of 2, corresponding to the case when n equals to 2, plus f of 3, which corresponds to the final value which we see written at the top of the sigma symbol. Now let's go ahead and see what that would look like with an actual example. For instance, let's say we were asked to calculate the following. We're given the sum from n is equal to 1 to 5 of 2n squared. Now this is asking us to add all the values we would obtain if we replace n by all the integers between this initial value 1 and this final value 5. So here's what that would look like. In the case where n equals to 1, this would equal to 2 times 1 squared. We would add to that the case when n equals to 2 leading to 2 times 2 squared. We add to that the case when n equals to 3, which would be 2 times 3 squared. We then add the case when n equals to 4, so 2 times 4 squared. And finally we add to that the case where n equals to 5, so 2 times 5 squared. And we stop at that term because, remember, the final value written at the top of the sigma symbol was 5. We now calculate each of these terms. 2 times 1 squared would be 2, plus 2 times 2 squared, well, 2 squared is 4, so times 2 would lead us to 8, plus 2 times 3 squared, 3 squared is 9, so 2 times 9 is 18, plus 2 times 4 squared, 4 squared is 16, so 2 times 16 is 32, plus 2 times 5 squared, since 5 squared is 25, this would lead us to 50. And if we calculate all of this going from left to right, we should find that this sum is equal to 110. Now, let's look at another example. Let's say we were asked to calculate the value of the following sum. The sum from n equals to 1 to 3 of the expression 3n minus 1. Now, in this case, Again, all we need to do to calculate the value of this sum is replace n inside this expression by all the integers between this initial value, this final value, and we would add all of those values together. So, to begin with, what the case when n equals to 1 would look like 3 times 1 minus 1. We then add to that the case when n equals to 2, so that would be 3 times 2 minus 1. We then add to that the case when n equals to 3, so 3 times 3 minus 1. Now, just to clarify, each of these corresponds to a certain value of n inside our expression. This first is n equals to 1, the second is n equals to 2, and this last one is n is equal to 3. Calculating each of these, 3 times 1 minus 1 would be 2, plus 3 times 2 minus 1 would equal to 5, plus 3 times 3 is 9, minus 1 would be 8. And so adding all of these together, we find that this sum is equal to 15. And so that's how 
to interpret sigma notation. Remember, it is nothing more than a sum, and we are adding the expression we see behind the sigma symbol for all the integer values between the initial value written at the bottom of the sigma symbol and the final value written at the top. 